You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Nelson versus Sterling and Haynes. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Hey. How you doing, Your Honor? Ms. Nelson, you say you grew up believing one man was your father, yet had another man listed on your birth certificate. Yes, Your Honor. Then, after you turned 30 years old, a third man, the defendant, suddenly contacted you on Facebook claiming he was your father. Yes, Your Honor. Oh. Today, you say you hope DNA test results will finally reveal the truth. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sterling. Yes, ma'am. You're here with your daughter and say it was she who helped you find Miss Nelson. Yes, ma'am. You claim today you will reveal why another man's name is on Miss Nelson's birth certificate and prove to her you are indeed her father. Yes, ma'am. So, Miss Nelson, please tell the court, how did you first hear about Mr. Sterling's claims? Um, well, Your Honor, I grew up um, my whole life knowing a different man was my, was my dad. It was a man that was in prison. Um, my mother took me to visit him weekend after weekend, week after week, and this is the man I grew up knowing that he was my father. Um, I had went to New York to visit this man for two weeks, and he told me that this other man was on my birth certificate because my mom didn't want somebody like him in my life because he was in and out of prison. And so the explanation given was she just wanted to protect you. Yes. So she put another man's name on the birth certificate because I was in and out of prison. Yes, ma'am. Do you have a copy of your birth certificate with you? Yes, ma'am, I do. Mom, let me see that, please. Father's name listed, Vincent Preston Nelson. And that's not the name of the gentleman you visited in prison? No, Your Honor. So, this had to be confusing. Yes, Your Honor. I was hurt because I never knew who he was. I just knew that this man was my dad and I felt like my mom should have told me that this man was my father even though he was in and out of prison. I just, I was hurt. So then you get a message from a man, another man. Yes, Your Honor saying he's your father. Yes, Sean. Explain. I got a message from a man named Christopher Lancaster um, saying that I'm your dad. He was sorry for not being in my life and he now wants to be in my life. And he left two numbers on there. I contacted both those numbers. Both the numbers were disconnected because it was four months prior that he had left me the message. It was in my other's box on Facebook. That's how he messaged me on Facebook. He left the two numbers. I called the two numbers. Neither one of the numbers worked. May I see that evidence, please? Jerome, please, yes, yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, I know you don't know who I am, but I'm your father. I'm so sorry for all of the years I have missed you growing up. Aww. What were you thinking when you get this message? <laughs> your Honor, honestly, I didn't even know what to think because it was like... I was... It's like it's just coming out of yeah, nowhere. Absolutely. It was it was outrageous to me that I had got this message with all these different men. Did anything lead you to believe other than what you had been told? My mom always told me that the man on my birth certificate, Vincent Nelson, was my father. This is what my mom told me. But this other man that was in prison told me that that wasn't true. He was my father. And now Yet another message. It's coming through from Christopher Lancaster saying this man was my father. So this I... This is incredible. Yeah. So, Mr. Sterling, she gets a message from a Christopher Lancaster. Yet you're here in court. Yes, ma'am. Your name is Christopher Sterling. Yes, ma'am. How did she get this message from a Christopher Lancaster? Do Lancaster. you know that person? Yes, ma'am. I put that message on uh, Facebook. The reason being, I had problems with other people in my life, so I didn't want to use my real full name. So I made up a, I made up a Facebook page of Christopher Lancaster. I always was looking for my daughter. Always. I, to me, I feel that she's my daughter. So I always was looking for her. I remember her birthdays and everything. So I always was looking for her. So I put that message on there to contact her for nobody else to contact me. So you were the person behind the Christopher Lancaster note? Yes, ma'am. So you had a relationship with her mother? Yes, ma'am. Knew of her? 
Yes, ma'am. You were in a relationship, a sexual relationship or a committed relationship with her mother? Uh, we was young, Your Honor. We was young. We met in high school. Okay. We were 17, 18 years old. We was young. You know, when you're young, you fall in love with each other. So we had the relationship, had sex. When you found out she was pregnant, did you know you were the father? Yes, ma'am. I was there at the hospital. I went, uh, when, when her mother water broke, my mother took her to the hospital. And so what happened? You, you're, you're there, but you lose contact with this woman that you say is your daughter. Okay, what happened was, far as like a religion thing, and I didn't want to commit towards the religion thing because I was, I was running the streets, DJing, playing music, and I didn't want to commit to the religion thing. So I feel a family took her away from me and moved her somewhere else, and I never heard from them again. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So, Ms. Nelson. Yes, yeah, sure. Your entire life, you hadn't heard of Christopher Sterling or Christopher Lancaster. No, Your Honor. The only person I knew of was Vincent Nelson and the man who said he was my dad. Those were the only two people I knew of my entire life. And Mr. Sterling, you're saying that this was a pretty deep relationship you had with her mother. I mean, you all were... Yes, ma'am. ...high school sweethearts and... Yes, ma'am, high school sweethearts. You were sweetheart. there for the birth? We met in high school. We had sex every day during the oh. summer. <laughs> every day. Every day. Oh, my God. Every day. Oh, my God. My mother even caught her in the house. My mother walked in the door, and I heard the key come in, but I had her mother hiding in the closet. So my mother didn't pay no attention. My mother walked by, and then I forgot and left her clothes there, her shoes in the oh living room. Oh, my God. And my mother seen it and said, who you have in this house? Oh. I said, nobody. And she opened up the closet door, that's what you call busted. Pulled out. <laughs> yes, y'all. <laughs> but butterball naked. Okay. Oh, well, maybe you didn't need to hear that story, no, Ms. Nelson. I didn't, no, I didn't, y'all. No, I didn't, y'all. But anyway, but, uh, your honor, and do, do the whole situation, I got on punishment for everything. And I'm the guy. I was on punishment for two weeks. When you should have been. When my parents <laughs> fought, they, uh, For the whole summer me, and beyond. They put me on punishment <laughs> for two weeks. You know what we had to do? We were so much in love. I used to tie a note because we stayed on the fifth floor. It's the project, so we stayed on the fifth floor. I used to hand a note down on the string and then give it to her. She would tie her note up and I pulled the note up. I was on punishment for oh two weeks. Oh, my God. That's how much we was in love. All right, you're <laughs> redeemed. Thank you. Thank you. My question is, how can this be possible? Because there's the man in prison and there's Vincent Preston Nelson and then you say you were at the hospital. Because, ma'am, I am Vincent Preston Nelson. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you are... You are... Vincent Preston Nelson. Yes, ma'am, and I have evidence to prove to you right now today. Let me see that evidence. That is, in fact, you. I was younger then. Excuse my hair. I didn't get a haircut <laughs> back then. This is you on this yes, ID card. Well, when I grew up, I never met my real father. When I met my father when I was 17, he said, we changing your name to Christopher Sterling Jr. I said, of course. You took your father's name. Yes, ma'am. So you are in fact the man listed on her birth certificate as her father. Yes, ma'am. So, Ms. Nelson, you've established a relationship with this other man. Yes, Your Honor. That's who you were led to believe is your father your whole life. Yes, Your Honor. Do you look like the other man? Yes, I do. I do. I look like the Mr. other man. Mr. Sterling, I see this has you very emotional. What is it you feel? Are you just so upset because she was led to believe something different? I look like him. I don't, I don't look like this man right here. And you just believe in your heart that's your daughter? Yes, Your Honor. And all these years, you've been hurting, just missing her? Yes, Your Honor. 
<laughs> it's almost uh, unbelievable. Yeah, it is, Yana. And this is my first time ever meeting him. I've never met this man in my life. Well, I've never met him in my life. And this is my first time meeting him and seeing him. And if he is my dad, this is unbelievable. This is, this is great if he is my father. If he's not, then. But I've missed so many years, man. <laughs> so. Christopher Lancaster, who is Christopher Sterling, who was Vincent Preston Nelson. Yes, ma'am. May be your father. Oh, wow. Yes, Your Honor. Jerome, I think we need to talk to her mother. Please escort her in. Uh -oh. <laughs> huh? Hi, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Hello, Your Honor. Thank you for joining us today. Ms. Haynes, you are Ms. Nelson's mother. Yes. You admit you had a relationship with this gentleman, Christopher Sterling. Yes. But do you know him as Christopher Sterling? I know him because I know as Christopher Sterling because I was there when he met his father. He's saying he was there at the hospital Correct. when she was born. Correct. There was a disconnection. It was a disconnection, yes. And then he was no longer a part of your life, right. nor his daughter's. Yes. And at some point, you met this man in prison, and then you ended up telling your daughter that he was her father. Never. Against my wishes and against her fam my other family's wishes, who she was staying with, she snuck and went to see this man. So you never told I her that. Never, but Miss Nelson, you her felt that. like you were led to believe it because he, he said, "I'm your father." I'm your father, and your mother took me out of your life and said, "I can no, I cannot be a part of your life because I'm in and out of jail." My family did not want me to have a relationship with him, but I chose to have a relationship with him because this man was telling me he was my father. And this is the man I knew. And this is the man that I called daddy. I didn't know this man right here, Christopher Sterling, Vincent Nelson, whatever his name is. I didn't have a relationship <laughs> with this man. I didn't know him. Mr. Sterling, where were you, though? We lost contact, Your Honor. She was two, three years old the last time I seen her. We was in Coney Island at Nathan's. I bought her french fries. Yeah. That's the last time I seen my daughter. I remember her birthday, July 25th. Every yes. year, that's my daughter right here. She 23 years old. When she was born, I told her she had an older sister. Am I lying? Ma'am, please me. stand up. Let me hear your testimony. And your name is, ma'am? Amber and Sterling. And you're Mr. Sterling's daughter. Yes. And so you remember your entire life being told you have an older sister. Yes. Do you believe Miss Nelson is your sister? I want to believe it. There's a slight doubt, but I don't know. I have no idea. I would like to know. I would like her to be my sister. Aww. I never talked to her. I never seen her. I don't know what she looked. This is my first time ever seeing her. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sharna. And you say you have some doubt. Why do you have doubt? I've been told my whole life, but I've never met her. And I feel like if that was my sister, why, why wasn't it a connection? Why didn't we have a connection? And it's more where I came from. I have two other siblings. So it's like, why wasn't she brought to me? Like, were us two brought together, period. So it's like, is she my sister? I don't know. I have no idea. This is a lot. I mean, this it is, is just... And I don't even know what to say. I don't even... I honestly don't even know what to say, but I feel like he could have done more to find me. I feel like he did not do enough. I'm 31, Your Honor. I've right. been through a lot, and I feel like if he really wanted to find me, he could have found me, and, and I feel like he really right. didn't want to find me. No, and that's I how I feel. But what I feel like you really you didn't, think? because that's Why? how I feel. I feel like you didn't ever want to really find me. If I'm busy me. and I'm taking care of what you I have to take care of? You too busy to find your daughter? You too busy? I'm 31 years old. Wow, really? Okay. I think it's time for the result. Oh, God. God. Thank you, Jerome. May I go in there with my daughter? You absolutely may. Please, Mom. I got it. I can't, Mom. Betty. All right. It's what you've been waiting for, right? I know. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Nelson v. Sterling Haynes, as it pertains to whether Mr. Vincent Nelson also known as Christopher Sterling, is the biological father of Miss Nelson. 
Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Nelson v. Sterling Haynes, as it pertains to whether Mr. Vincent Nelson, also known as Christopher Sterling, is the biological father of Miss Nelson. <laughs> it has been determined by this court, <laughs> Mr. Sterling, you are her father. <laughs> Thank you, Carl. <laughs> this is exactly why I get up in the morning. <laughs> I commend you, Miss Nelson, for having the courage to go through every path you had to walk down, everywhere the stories led you. Now you know who you are exactly. and to whom you belong. Exactly. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, thank you so Anna. much. Congratulations. Thank you court so is adjourned. Thank you. I'd like to thank Judge Lake for letting us appear in her court today. And what it meant to me, it brought closure to my life to let everybody know this is my daughter. I'm just happy and I thank you for appearing in her court. I finally have closure. I have a dad. I have a beautiful sister. And I'm so thankful for the court today.